Good morning. I am done at the shanty, grabbing the rest of my stuff so that way we can finish up tapping today. So right here, we keep our drills and our batteries. And there's only one left, <laughs> which is mine. And then just gotta grab my battery, make sure they're charged, and we are good to go. Let's get to it. We are out here tapping our last woods today and this woods is actually the first woods that my dad grew up tapping. So my great grandfather, Joseph Boxler, sailed over as an immigrant from Switzerland in the early 1900s and this is where he settled. So this is his original farm and we are still tapping these trees a century later which is pretty incredible. A lot of people ask how long do trees produce for? and like I've mentioned before, they can produce for over a hundred years, over a century, which we have proven on a couple of our farms, specifically this one, which he started tapping and my, grew, my dad grew up tapping. So it's pretty incredible. Check out some of these trees. Just got done pulling this line out of the snow and it took me a while because if you look at the snow, you probably can't tell much, but this is like ice. There's like good, I don't know what that is, two inches of ice. So there's a little snow on top and then a bunch of ice. So you can't just pull the lines up out of the snow very easily. It takes some work but you got to make sure the lines are out of the snow so that way it doesn't freeze and the sap can actually run. So it's very important to always pull the lines out of the snow. Since I'm walking back to the other lateral lines, I just got to the end of the line and now I'm going back so I can go down the other side. I thought I would share with you a little more history since I am on the original farm. So my great grandfather, as I mentioned, sailed over and we are actually dairy farmers. So we have about 5,000 head of cattle. I don't know if you guys need that or not. So maple syrup for him when he started was just a hobby and he tapped 750 trees, which is what we tap here currently. But when he tapped, he had galvanized buckets all on the trees. He collected them using horses and a gathering tank that he would take on skis and pull through and collect all the buckets. And then he would boil under the stars. He didn't have a building or anything fancy. And that is how he got started. And then my grandfather, Hans Boxler, he used to take his kids out and they would gather buckets as well, except instead of horses, they used a tractor. And that is where my dad fell in love with the woods and maple syrup. And so my dad decided to turn that hobby into his hobby. <laughs> 
and he started maple syrup in 1992 my dad did and from there i guess the rest is history he started with 4,000 taps and converted everything to tubing instead of buckets and like i said <laughs> from there the rest is history we've just been trying to grow a little bit every year and this year is really exciting for us because we have the new building that we are boiling in so there's going to be probably a lot of learning curves as that gets all set up because the building is not finished yet <laughs> we're working really hard on it but it's not finished yet hopefully it will be finished soon but we're going to start boiling in it this year so stay tuned for those videos coming soon so yesterday my camera died so I did not get to film much. So I'm out here again today. We are finishing up tapping Last Woods at my great-grandfather's farm, which is the original dairy farm. And there's only about five lines, which we could have finished last night, except a lot of the lines are buried under the snow. And when it's starting to get dark, it's just a lot harder to do. And it's a lot harder to see the old tap holes when it's getting dark outside. So we thought it would be best to finish up those lines today in the daylight. And after this, we are done tapping for 2022 and it'll be on to walking through and fixing all the lines. I had a couple trees that I had to finish up tapping, but now I'm just unburying main lines, finding where the trees are so that way I can send Dad and Warren back with the chainsaw to cut those off. And yeah, it's a pretty good day today. And you might notice that I have on a new beanie today, which I'm very excited about. Finally got some Boxer Maple ones. And I'm going to have them on the website, so if you're interested in them, hop on over there, check them out, and you can be rocking Box of maple yourself. So this is why we never finished tapping yesterday. If you can see across the ravine there, that main line over there needs to be dug out and that is my job today. So going to dig those out and tap the last of the lines. Tighten that screw. I'm just walking out of the woods and we have officially finished tapping trees. Although it never fails every year as you're checking lines and looking for leaks, we'll come across some trees that were missed and we'll have to tap them. <laughs> but 
as of right now, we are officially done. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a steep ravine. Yeah, that happens more often than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Always falling. But just walking out of the woods now, I was told that there's only five lines to finish up in this woods. And it was more like 45 lines, all of which were just buried in snow, which is why they were skipped to begin with. So I got those all finished up. And now tomorrow it is going to warm up. The sap will be running. So we will be boiling later this week. And we will begin walking, fixing all the lines and checking for leaks tomorrow. I just said we are officially done tapping and I said that it never fails. There's always some trees that are missed that we have to go back and tap while we're fixing lines. And on my walk, on my walk out, I already found one. <laughs> so I had to tap that one. Oh, it's always so hard for me to talk in the winter because my mouth starts to freeze and then I can't pronounce words or speak correctly. <laughs> it really is challenging. Check out this moon tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. Nice and quiet, no wind. And that wraps up tapping trees for 2022. But don't be fooled, that doesn't mean the work is done. It is just beginning because now we get to walk all the woods continuously throughout the entire season to check for leaks because there's always new leaks because the squirrels and deer chew on the lines leaving big holes and then of course you'll have wind damage here and there, fallen trees, branches, whatever it may be. So the work is just beginning and the long nights of boiling in the shanty haven't even begun yet but they are going to begin this week. So. The next time you see myself, my dad, or my brother, we're probably going to be really sleep deprived and look like walking zombies. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a good one.